Hey, how's it going? Alex here from Idea Spot. Today, you'll learn how to blog with Elementor and make this attractive looking blog grid using the free version of Elementor. So if that sounds interesting, then keep watching. Okay, from our WordPress dashboard, we go to plugins and then we go to add new. From our add new screen, we're gonna search for the word Elementor and we will get two plugins that will do this job essential add-ons for Elementor and my favorite one, premium add-ons for Elementor. Another alternative that works pretty well is if you search for PostGrid Elementor, you'll find PostGrid Elementor add-on. This one works quite well, but for this demo, we're gonna start with my favorite one, premium add-ons for Elementor. Click install, and when that's installed, click activate. Now, when we edit our page in Elementor, we'll be able to add a blog grid. All we have to do is scroll to the position where we'd like a new section for our blog grid. So I'll create a new section there. And then in our elements, we can scroll down to the bottom and we should find our premium add-on section here. This is what our plugin has given us. And they've given us an element called premium blog. We can drop that premium blog element in there and this is gonna give us our basic blog grid. There are lots of ways to customize this grid. For a start, I like to change from classic to modern. I think the modern one looks a little bit nicer. I like to turn off some of this post meta. So we go to uh, post options and we can turn off the meta here. So author, you can turn off, you can turn off the date, you can turn off the categories and you can turn off the comments. So you just have the title and the excerpt of the post. At the bottom of the grid, I like to choose to show some pagination. So I'll turn that one on and that'll give us little uh, page options there at the bottom so users can view more than the four posts that are in the grid. So I might center that. I might make that a little bit bigger when we get to the style section. So I'll do that in a minute. I like to have the grid text centered. So that's under display options and change the alignment to center. I think that looks a bit better, but up to you. I should also mention that under general, you can choose your number of posts per page and your number of columns there. You can even refine the post that you want to display under query. So you can filter by category, you can filter by author, and you can order the post by date or by title, um, ascending or descending. So totally up to you. I like to do descending by date. So the newest one will be at the top corner. So you can play around with this layout to get the uh, layout that suits your blog. But let's move on to style. I still want to stylize these grids a little bit more. By default, you'll get this plus sign that zeroes in to the center of the grid there. So I'd like to remove that. I'd just go to the plus sign color and click on the color there. Change the transparency to be fully transparent. So I'll just drag that slider right down the end there. And now we can't see that plus sign. What I do like to do is add some hover CSS filter. So in my case, you can add, say, some brightness when the user hovers to give that bright effect. I might boost that up to make it more obvious there. See? As the user hovers, you can get brightness or you can even increase the contrast as the user hovers. So you can get that kind of effect. Um, at the moment, it's zooming in as you hover. So you can go to content and go to the featured image and that zoom effect is there under hover effect. I might turn that off and make that none. But if you like the zoom effect, feel free to keep it. They also have other effects, so feel free to play around there. But back to style and back to image. So we've gotten just, just that brightness as you hover on it. And we can make that title a little bigger by going to the typography, clicking the pencil, and we can change that size to whatever we like here. I think something like 24, 24 is good. I like that. And what else can we do? We can go to our pagination at the bottom there. That's a little too small for my taste. So I might make that bigger as well. So make that 24 as well, perhaps. There we go. And the actual box, we can make it a little bit more stylish here by adding a background color. For example, we might make it a a soft pink in the background, if you like. Um, I might actually just leave it white and change the contact bo content box there. We can change that content box background color as well. So that can be a, a subtle pink. I think that's quite good. We can also give that box a little bit of a shadow by adding there. We can add that. I like to make the vertical maybe four pixels to make it a little bit more enhanced and the horizontal maybe two pixels. So we get a little bit of that shadow there. So looking pretty cool. I think that CSS brightness is a little harsh. So I might just turn that down a little bit. So that's the hover CSS filter. Let's back that off a little bit there. A little bit more subtle. I think that's better. But feel free to play around with all of these settings because this plugin has probably the most styling options out of these blog grid plugins. But when you're happy with it, go for apply 
and then go ahead and click update. From here, I might just add a bit of spacing and maybe a heading on top of our blog. So let's add some spacing there and let's go ahead and drag in a heading there, for example, and let's make it centered and just call it our blog and click update. So this is what the finished product looks like. We've got our blog grid, we've got our pages at the bottom there so we can see older posts and it looks quite good on the desktop. If we look at it in the mobile view, for example, let's go with an iPhone X, we can see it looks quite good on mobile as well. It just switches to one column rather than two columns. Okay, so that covers off the plugin premium add-ons for Elementor. I'll show you quickly what we can do with essential add-ons for Elementor. So just looking at the page, this is one I've made with essential add-ons for Elementor. Again, you can create a nice blog grid here. I've got a hover color that is transparent that gives it a little bit of an effect as the user hovers. And rather than having pagination, it has a load more button. So you can actually load up more posts when you click that if you prefer this method. Uh, it doesn't have the page numbers, but you can have that load more button instead. The other option I mentioned earlier was called post grid elemental add-on. So if we go to that page, we can see these are the cards you'll create with post grid elemental. So these are quite attractive looking pages and you've got that read more option down there that takes you to the post. That hover color effect with the um, drop shadow looks pretty good. The only problem with this one, it didn't have any pagination effects. So no load more, no page numbers. So I didn't really like this one as much, but I do like these cards. So I do use this plugin sometimes. But overall, I think my favorite is this one. It has the most um, customizations. That's premium add-ons for Elementor. And you've got that nice page numbering down there. I've even added a mouse over effect that makes uh, a little bit of a um, bottom border appear under those numbers. So lots of things you can do in terms of style on this premium add-ons for Elementor. Now for any of these plugins to work, you're obviously gonna to need to have some posts written in WordPress. You can do that by going under posts and add new. If you've never used WordPress before, this is the basics of using WordPress. So I might just add a new post just to show you how that's done. Let's just call this one shopping so I can type a title in here. And let's just paste in some filler text for our post. And the most important thing to do for your post grid is to go to post and we're gonna add a featured image. So we click set featured image, go to our media library, this is where we choose the featured image for the post. I'll choose that girl and then set that. We can go ahead and set a category for that. If you're using categories, I'll change that to fashion. I'm gonna hit publish and hit publish again. And now when we re reload our page, we'll see our new post. So there we go, we've got our new post, the shopping post with the girl that we selected earlier. So when we follow that, that'll take us to our post that we just made quickly in WordPress. Okay, from here, you can use this method to add a blog grid to any of the Elementor pages on your website. So have fun with that. Don't forget to say thanks in the comments below. That really helps the channel and hit like as well if it was useful. And from here, I'll put up a couple extra tutorials on the screen, uh, a much more detailed blogging tutorial where I build a complete website. So this is much longer, but much more comprehensive. And if you're interested in in upgrading your WordPress hosting to a much faster cloud-based hosting solution. I'll put up a tutorial there how you can get much faster WordPress hosting. So hopefully those are useful too. Check those videos out, but thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.